as construction continues, people in Hardin County are still learning what life looks like with a multi billion dollar battery plant as its neighbor. WDRB's Katrina Nichols shares what concerns are still being addressed. This is what nearly six months of construction at the Blue Oval SK battery plant looks like. And while construction has been moving along, many people say there's still many questions left unanswered. We've got a few concerns that I've mentioned. Following Tuesday's community meeting with Blue Oval SK representatives taking questions, Doug Hagen left unsatisfied. There's, there's a lot of things I feel like they've done backwards. Hagen owns a business across the street on the north side of the plant and lives across the street on the south side. He says both his home and business have been covered in dust from construction. It's just covered in red clay film of dirt, and I don't think it's uh, unreasonable to ask them to try to clean it, you know, because they've devalued it considerably. We don't have any plans right now, uh, but it, it's not something we can, we can look at something in the future. The panel said traffic related concerns would best be handled by KYTC and said it's still working on what salaries and pay will be. We are partnering with different organizations to really understand the trends in this area, you know, what the wages should be. So we're really not ready to share those wages with you yet. Jobs for the site have been listed online. Blue Oval SK is looking for people with a range of skills from engineering to technical to HR and several other backgrounds to fill the expected 5,000 jobs. Some from Louisville see it as an opportunity to expand the workforce beyond Hardin County lines and offer people in West Louisville an opportunity. We can support trade opportunities uh, for individuals to come out and actually participate in the building of, of the plant, uh, as well as all the infrastructure that's going to be needed to be built around the plant. Blue Oval SK said it's looking to provide transportation from places like Louisville and Bowling Green for employees. It hopes to continue working with the community as it prepares to open in 2025. In Glendale with photojournalist Greg Shapker, Katrina Nickel, WDRB News.